G'day folks, Cam Wild Wild Touring. Uh, you might notice that my bull bar is looking pretty bare at the moment. Uh, my king spotties didn't survive my last trip. Uh, they cracked. Uh, one of the one of the um, brackets has stripped the thread inside, so they were flopping around like mad. Yeah, they're shagged. So um, that's basically what this video is about. I've got something else to show you. A bit of a review to do. Back in 2016, Steady released a, uh, a driving light, an LED driving light called their Type X, and it really sort of upset the market because it was uh, just as good as some of the major competitors, but priced so that you know the average average bloke can afford a set. Fast forward a couple of years, and they brought out their Type X Pro. Um, I got a set of them here to show you today. These are the 8.5 inch. Um, so I'll show you what's inside the box and what they look like. They are packaged really nicely. It kind of feels like you're opening a high-end uh, laptop or a drone or a new iPhone or something. Their attention to detail is pretty nice. Not necessary, but nice. Alrighty, so these are IP68. What that means is that's the highest rating of dust and water ingress protection. So they can be underwater for uh, three meters for 30 minutes before any water gets into them. And I reckon if your bull bar is three meters underwater, you get other issues. So inside the box, they come with uh, a couple of steady light covers. There's different ones available online if you don't like them. They also came with one of these ones you would have seen before. This is pretty iconic now. The steady smile. So you see a lot of blokes running one of each, which is probably what I'll do. It looks pretty cool. Now they also come with these different colored uh, rings. This is separate to the ceiling structure of the light itself. You can see, you can see on the on the driving light now. There's a there's a grey ring there, so it's separate to the ceiling structure. They're interchangeable, so you can customize it how you like. You can run no ring at all, and it'll be all black. Or if you want different colours, there's different colours available online. So that's pretty nice. The driving light itself is made up of 37 LEDs, 31 pencil LEDs around the outside, and six spread on the inside. So you can punch light right down that road, and also light up the sides as you're going. So Steady claim that the lens is similar to, to ballistic grade glass, virtually indestructible. They also say that it's completely UV proof, which is why you can get away without running a lens cover at all if you don't want to. Um, if you do want to buy lens covers, they do have different coloured ones or clear ones available online. Uh, I think that's pretty important because I found with some of the cheaper Chinese uh, online lights that I've bought in the past, the covers on them start to go yellow and brittle from the UV. And then when you try to take them off or you try to clean them, you end up breaking the things. And when you run the cheaper ones without a lens cover, you know, the first rock that comes across is going to smash it, which is exactly what happened to my, my cheap uh, Kings ones. You can see there, as soon as I took the lens cover off, the first bloody trip I did without it, big crack. And this is some kind of plastic. It's, it's, it's not glass, but it still managed to crack that. Don't know if you can see that on camera there or not. Um, well, that's another thing I'll talk about. The, the brackets on these cheaper uh, LED driving lights are like a three or a four mil folded steel bracket. Um, you'll find on, on these steadies, one of the major selling points for me, the things that I really liked, was that they've gone with a cast 10 mil uh, cast alloy bracket. Um, what that means is it's not folded, it's not welded, so you don't have those points of fatigue, and you're less likely to have vibrations as well while you're driving. So that's a seriously beefy piece of um, artwork there. And they've finished it off nicely with a bit of brushed stainless on the sides. Looks pretty, f pretty flash, pretty cool. So also in the box here, it'll come with a wiring harness. Now I've run the steady wiring harness previously as well, even with the King Spotties, just because it's a better quality harness than uh, a lot of the cheap Chinese lights you buy online. Um, It'll come with a HB3 and a H4 adapter. So literally this just piggybacks into the back of your headlights. No wiring, no splicing, no soldering, nothing. Really simple. I'll show you quickly how to do it. And then lastly, this little box will just be fixings, nuts, bolts, washers, and it looks as though it even comes with Allen keys for adjustments. So for those of you that are into numbers, um, the color temperature is 5700 Kelvin, uh, which is a wider sort of light and a little bit easier, less fatiguing on the eyes. 
power wise each one draws I think it's 137 watt so about 10.4 amp each combined they'll punch out 26,000 raw lumens and one lux at 1.155 kilometers so that's some serious distance there so all that stuff in the brochure is pretty impressive um, but for me I don't need to be able to read a Chinese takeaway menu 10 k's down the road I just need to be able to punch out enough light for when I'm doing 110 k ish an hour I can see a few hundred meters in front of me and to the side so if any animals are coming on the road or anything like that I can avoid them so that's it looks like a really nice bit of kit um, I'll show you how simple it is to fit and then as it starts to get darker we'll go for a bit of a cruise and we'll see how the lights actually perform so one pack of fixings for each light first up I'm just going to connect the actual bracket to the light itself what I really like about this as well instead of this having like a threaded casing that you you screw your, your bolt into I've actually got a little recess where you can put your nylock in there and then you're threading into the nylock the beauty of that is with these cheaper ones they thread that actual alloy cast housing it's not hard to split or crack that thread if you over tighten these are just ping and then they're shagged which is what happened on this side I just kept adjusting it because it kept flopping around off-road and corrugations and then eventually I just stripped the thread and now they're completely useless unless I tap a bigger thread but you're gonna run out of meat eventually and you're gonna have the same problems every time so that's another really good feature of these steady lights A washer and a nylock nut underneath so I'll button that up from underneath with that nylock I'll assemble the other bracket the same and mount it here and then I'll show you how to do the wiring probably looks a little bit daunting when you first look at it but it really is simple I'll show you how easy it is first thing I do is I pull out my uh, high beam globe uh, which is a HB3 on, on my D-Max and I find the little piggyback to suit that which is going to be this one there's also H4 if you've got H4 globes so there's only one way this can plug in so we do that so this is basically piggybacking the existing high beam um, harness on the vehicle so I'm just going to plug that back into the headlight I'm going to plug the factory car wiring back into that little piggyback adapter and then all that's going to be left hanging out is this little connector here and that's going to fit the steady harness so let's get that so if you lay this all out what we're going to have is these two leads for the battery terminals so the red's going to go onto the positive the black's going to go onto the negative so they'll mount for the battery terminals there then we're going to have these two plugs here are going to connect to the actual spotlights so they'll plug in like that they're waterproof too they're nice connectors you're going to be left with that little connector there which is actually the trigger switch for the high beam that we just plugged in that little piggyback so that'll hook in there and then the only thing left is going to be a switch to turn these things on and off from your dash so we'll hide the cable along behind here through a gland in the firewall and out into your dash so that the way it's going to operate when this switch is on and you put your high beam lights on it's going to trigger off that high beam light tell the relay to flick on or flick open or however that works and your spotlights are going to come on so it's pretty simple everything's plug and play really easy and uh, also it's fused as well so it's protected from short circuit or anything like that and that's it so i'll get this band together and then we'll go see how they work
driving lights, high beam, spotties. So really night and day with the standard driving lights. Probably see that car down there in the bottom of the valley. You see its headlights, that's about a kilometre away. Shine these spotties at the mountain on the other side of the valley. It's got to be over a K away. Check this out. Seriously hard to capture how good these things are, especially with uh, my sort of camera gear. These things punch out an obnoxious amount of light. It is wicked. I am really impressed with them. So to wrap it all up, it's only early days, but so far I'm really impressed with these spotlights. Of course, I'll keep you posted on how they go in the future. Um, I'm really excited to have them on the front of my car for the big lap next year. There's three things you can do to keep yourself safe with, safe with night driving. A bull bar up the front end, which I've got, driving to conditions, which we always do, uh, and lastly is having a good set of spotlights so that you can see any danger upcoming, like animals jumping out the road or whatever, and you've got that reaction time to, um, to stop or to pull up before. But yeah, performance and build quality is out of this world, especially for the money you pay for these things. I'm really impressed. The only negative things I can say about it is uh, because they are so bloody bright and they're LED, you still get that reflection off the street signs and the cat eyes that it just about blinds you, which you would have seen in the video. I never noticed it so bad with the old um, halogen globe lights uh, that threw that more sort of like yellow light, but I don't think that's a fair comparison because those lights were just nowhere near as bright. They didn't throw light as far and their light wasn't um, as usable um, and they just weren't as bright. So I, I, that's probably not a fair comparison. And I haven't come across a set of spotlights yet that don't do that. Uh, the only other negative thing I can say is the price. And let me explain that further to you. These are priced at $689 for the set with the wiring harness. Um, if, if you're in the market for a set of spotlights and you don't care about performance, you don't care about build quality and you don't expect them to last very long, then you can get an, in, in a, many other sets of sub $200 nine inch LED spotlights, bolt them on the front of your car on eBay or full drive Supercenter or the likes. Um, BCF sell a set, super cheap sell something around that price as well. So there's plenty of cheaper lights um, that will do a job. <laughs> Not do the same job, but they'll do a job when they are working. Um, so I'm just trying to be the devil's advocate here. But it's not a fair comparison again because the build quality is nowhere near on the same level. They're not going to last you. They are going to fall apart eventually or stop working. And even when they do work, they're shit. Uh, there's nothing else to say. It's, they're just not the same. Uh, so in respect of that, I think $689 for the set of steadies does represent extremely good value, uh, especially when you compare them to other... Um, to other brands of similar quality, like Lightforce, they do their HTX, HTX2, which retail for about $1,600 for a pair. Great White 220s go for $1,200. Thunder do a 220 LED that goes for just under $1,200. Nava Ultima 215s go for just under $1,000. So steady nearly half the price of most of those. Um, so I think they do really represent good value. Anyway, there's nothing else to say. They're good lights. If you're looking at getting a set, just honestly pull the trigger and do it. I think they're the kind of lights that, um, you know, you sell your car, you pull them off and you put them on your next car and you're gonna have them for a bloody long time. They, they, they're good quality light. Anyway, thanks guys. Cheers.